Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power! Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. Today I'm going to do my first ever Friday Hits and Misses video. So if you want to see um, what makeup looks I've been wearing this week and what I've been loving and what I've been not loving so much, just please keep watching. Sometimes when I'm shopping for clothes, I see something and I'm like, oh my God, that is so ugly. I have to have it, which is not a very effective method for purchasing clothes because all of a sudden you end up with a whole closet of things that were so ugly you had to own them. Anyway, this, uh, this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like neon lime green sweater is, is um, sort of the epitome of, <laughs> of that. One of my genius friends after watching my November favorites video was like, Parisa, if you love doing favorites videos so much, why don't you do a weekly video where you talk about like what makeup you were using, what makeup is working, what you don't like, because obviously you make a ton of cuts before monthly favorites. So do like a, a favorites and fooies video. And I was like, you know what? A Friday hits and misses sounds right up my alley and sounds like what my channel needs. So welcome to the first ever hits and misses video. Yay! Okay, can we talk about the fact that I hit pan? <laughs> Shea Moisture Olive and Green Tea Body Lotion. This stuff, I love Shea Moisture and I love their lotions and this, in my opinion, is the most moisturizing lotion. And it smells like, oh, it smells like honeysuckle and green tea and it's just, it's beyond delicious and yummy. So this is anti-aging and ultra moisturizing and it is so good. My legs get so dry in the winter and this just heals those cracked albino legs right on up. Love it. You see how pale I am? That's with spray tanner on. On my nails, I'm wearing this LA Colors Color Last in the shade Friendship. And I love this nail polish. These, these LA Color polishes are $2 and they are like the most chip resistant nail colors I own. And I love this color. It's like a really like pretty sort of dusty purple mauve color. And um, yeah, these LA Colors, man. I, favorite lipstick I've been wearing this week is this NYX Liquid Suede in Cherry Skies. I've pretty much worn it every single day. I love reds and I always shy away from them because I have really severe issues with them like bleeding outside of the lines or getting on my teeth and I just find like reds are so hard for me to wear and uh, this Liquid Suede, it dries down. It is like transfer resistant and so it doesn't get everywhere, it doesn't get on my teeth, it doesn't spread outside my lip line, it dries down, it's matte, it stays in place. So I can walk, rock these, I can rock some serious reds and um, I've missed red. So cherry skies. This is like a really, it's a little bit on the deeper side of red and I just think it's so beautiful. I got the red lip classic thing that you like. Going along with the olive oil lotion, I have been loving this olive oil lip balm. This is Nivea's olive oil and lemon and it smells amazing. I've been wearing it every single night before I go to bed. I don't know why I'm surprised that I love olive oil on my body. It's my absolute favorite hair like deep conditioning oil because it leaves my hair shiny for like days and days and days after use and I'm loving it on my skin too. So 
olive oil, all the things. Especially because like when you wear matte lipsticks, like your lips get really dry. So that Nivea balm is just keeping these lips matte lipstick ready. So I talked about this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in my recent Sephora and Ulta haul video and it is very quickly becoming my favorite concealer. Um, creaseless, yes. It, it definitely needs to be set with powder like one of these Besame powders, but it really doesn't crease. It's really moisturizing. My under eyes stay nice all day. So yeah, uh, didn't take didn't take too many uses before I was like, whoa, this tar is really nice and it's super full coverage, which oh my stars is something that I need so bad. So for eyeshadow this week, I did a video using this Color Mates Warm Tone palette and um, if you want to see that tutorial that's up on my channel but this I've been trying to get some more uses out of it it's a really nice really versatile palette so I've been reaching for that this week and then um, I've been using this physician's formula palette from my recent uh, Sephora Ulta haul and then I've been using another dollar store gem which is these matte eyeshadows this is in mattifying um, this is like a warm toned like little matte quad and I find that it just the matte shadows in here help me complete looks with this physician's formula so these two have been these two have been best buds and I I like the looks I've been coming up with because my lip has been so bold since I've been using this Cherry Skies all week. My eyes, I've been doing like a little bit more of a neutral, sort of like old school glam look. Pretty much like what I'm wearing today is what I've been wearing this week. I've been loving this Wet n Wild matte bronzer in Goddess. I talked about it as part of my October favorites and I'm still using it pretty pretty religiously pretty every day um, to warm up my skin like I said I'm wearing a f I'm wearing a fake tan <laughs> I'm still so pale so um, this is helping like keep me looking alive here <laughs> in these winter months and I've been using this new from it's not new from NYX it's new to me from NYX in ritualistic this is one of the uh this is one of the highlights that i did not own and um given how much i love makeup revolutions golden lights i had to have it it's got a pretty gold sheen i'm wearing it today i've been wearing it every day this week <laughs> honestly um really pigmented really nice uh, just a pretty gold you know so Another next highlighter that I just love. Um, so I've been using that. Okay, so we're gonna start to talk about some of the stuff that I have not been loving so much. This is the Salon Perfect Go Glow Go Glam Multi Pack in 33. So in my November favorites video, I had the Demi Wispies. I don't know where those are. I really like those. I'm actually wearing these. Um, 33s on my eyes today and just not sure I love them as much um they're very heavy on my eye and I keep feeling like this eye is like looking a little droopy and they just they don't they're very like even you can look at the design they're very like evenly across like the same length Here, focus there we go the same length all the all the way around so they don't do the flared out like the demi wispies and i just find for my hooded lashes 
or my hooded eyes, this isn't exactly the most flattering lash style that I could be wearing. And they're kind of heavy and they kind of like, I noticed, like I just noticed them more. Like they're itching and they're like, I want to pull them off more. I like the way they look. They're super glam, you know, kind of old Hollywood. So I like the way they look. They're just not as wearable and I don't, <laughs> I don't foresee them making a favorites video. I sort of foresee, I foresee myself using up these lashes and then not repurchasing them. Yeah, they're just, they're very heavy and I'm always like aware of them. I kind of want to pull them off all the time. So they're not as wearable as the Demi Wispies and I just don't, I don't think they're as flattering to my eye shape. So my absolute miss, my uber fit. What is going on out there? Whoa, okay, so my ultimate miss of the week. This is the Acure Unscented Argan Oil Cleansing Towelettes. And I, I snake these because I wanted something that would I could take my makeup off and I could take like swatches off my hands and stuff like that. And um, these are like, this is a Cure brand. I got these at Target. These are like more like in the natural, chemical free, no animal testing, hippie juju aisle, which is my favorite aisle in Target. No hate, but um, these, first off, they smell terrible. And I know that like natural argan oil does not smell that pleasant, but these smell awful and like I would even stomach that if they weren't but these remove makeup like crap like honestly a baby wipe takes makeup away better than these argan oil cleansing towelettes they are an absolute thumbs down I am super disappointed so I really hope oh oh why you gotta do me like that What are they doing? Like, I live in LA. We don't even have grass. They're, you're not weed whacking anything real. You're literally mowing sand. Why? Give this video a thumbs up if you like the weekly uh, hits and misses video and you want to see more of them from me. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions, comments, anything about, you know, beauty from a stick. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I do Snapchat and I have a Facebook page that I run and my friends are awesome and they comment on and they do cool stuff. So come find the beauty saga on Facebook. That's, that's the most happening. <laughs> that's the most happening thing. Probably like, Parisa, why do you want so many sunglasses? And I, it's like, because I got them on sale and I'm about to tell you guys about it in a future haul. So hit that subscribe video so you don't, you don't miss out on that. I don't know why I'm dancing so much. Coffee time. I need coffee. It's actually really funny. I get really hyper when I like need coffee. It's like my body starts freaking out. And it's like, give us coffee or we're going to die. I lost my train of thought. I hope you liked this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, supporting me, being part of the Beauty Saga family, being a storyteller. I can't tell you what it means to me. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Friday uh, Hits and Misses video. And I really look forward to seeing you on my next video. So hit that subscribe button, be my friend, comment, talk to me. I'm lonely. I love you guys. You're beautiful. Don't forget that. Mwah.